What's going on YouTube? Play some kill confirmed on Parliament today, but something's really wrong with this map I've noticed lately. I played about three three maps so far and it's skippy It's like it has frame rate lag or something. I don't know if it's just me There's a guy came in the back of the base. Oh my god, we're gonna die But in today's video, I'll be talking about the new competitive DLC maps that were announced yesterday It's really cool really interesting. I know a lot of you guys aren't too happy with it but to be honest, it's not a big deal, and I like I like the diversity, the ro the new rotation of the new maps. You know, should it should like spark things a little bit, should make the competitive a little bit more, I guess out there you could say the skill. You know, people need to learn all the new maps again, the spawns and all that good stuff. To start off, Parliament is going to be one of the maps, as you guys know, but not hardpoint, not kill confirmed, not none of this nonsense. It's actually going to be uplink and. I'll tell you the trick right now, I'm gonna tell you the secret. Just run down that middle tunnel, get the ball, and you're pretty much almost a guaranteed one if you slide jump off it. You know, you can just shoot a one from out up here. Just guys turn it in the back of the spawn. So back to the topic. Obviously, you know, I'm going to the relegation tournament this weekend. I'm so excited. You know, I got the prof jersey on. I'm ready, baby. I'm about to go hot, hotter than a mug. Okay, that was a little bit off topic. I'm sorry, guys. I'm obviously talking about the DLC maps first. And so uplink. Parliament is going to be one of them, and I think it's going to be a really good map. Like I said, you can just go down and throw once. It's not that hard. It's not hard at all, actually. But it's going to be a very interesting map. I think it's going to be a very AR-based AR map. You know, two to three battles on every team. You might even see four at times, especially when people are going to start playing defensive. So it should be really interesting and how people are going to play it. The next map, everybody's favorite S&D, or not favorite, but people who've been getting mad about it, was Search and Destroy Recovery. They added it back to the rotation, and a lot of people are happy about it. Me, personally, I'm not too good at the map. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm okay at it. I have my moments where I do pretty good at it, and I have my moments where I kind of shit the bed. And that's something I'm definitely going to need to be working on now since it is one of the maps. I know a lot of people are happy about that and I'm happy that you guys are happy. You know, that's really good for your, the people who love that map and who, who never wanted to remove it in the first place. Because a lot of people didn't want it and they ended up removing it either way. Now, you see me playing Hardpoint, Skyrise. Well, it's not that. It's going to be s &D, But obviously, I feel like Hardpoint for this map would have been okay. Not too bad. But with the double jumping and... I feel like the the extra suit kills this map too a little bit because you know you have too much jumping around you have too much boosting you can see the whole map you know it's it's just there's no point of having the hard points wherever they are it's gonna be chaotic I feel like there's not gonna be much setups uh, Sky Rides S and D is gonna be a map and I'm kind of excited about that some people complain the fact that you know when you let's say you find a bomb you can double jump see the bomb from almost anywhere on the map you know you basically have eyes on it from anywhere. And I guess it is going to be interesting, you know, especially people who are going to grind this map because they're going to be the ones best at it. If you find out how to, like, plant and see from certain areas, you know, I haven't played this map since MW2, so give me a break here. On top of that, guys, they added two new hard points to the rotation, and a lot of you guys are a little bit mad or upset of, on one of the maps because Hardpoint Drift is a new map. It is... You know, one of the maps, since they, I guess the reason they added it is because it was probably one of the best choices. On top of that, they did remove Drift, s &D, so I guess it balances out. But either way, Hardpoint, Drift, and Compound are the new two Hardpoint maps. I'm very excited for Com Compound. You know, it's a really fast, a slightly chaotic map as well. And it kind of reminds me of Strike Zone, you know, very, I guess kind of small, very close combat areas, close quarters. And it's going to be really interesting to see how people are going to... Because in the end, I think it's just going to be a whole bunch of gunfights, you know. That's what's gonna happen. Oh my god, I'm so good. And off topic for a second, the reason I'm doing a double upload today is because I rarely ever do double upload. And I have so much videos I want to get out. You know, I'm starting to finally get back on that grind. And I did miss yesterday when I never said I was gonna miss a day. You know, stuff came up. But I'm 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 doing work for it today. I'm putting in the work, putting in the time, putting two videos out. Let's get it, baby. Let's show some love. Alright, guys, so back to the topic. I played hardpoint drift. And pubs before, you know, nothing too serious. I really don't know how the. I don't think I'm gonna be completely honest. That's probably gonna be my least favorable map. I don't think I'm gonna enjoy it too much. Compound, on the other hand, I think I will enjoy that map. It, it, it's if it suits my playstyle, you know, really aggressive, just rushing in hills, getting kills, two pieces and whatnot. You know, that's apathy. And for the last announcement that was announced yesterday, of course, SD Drift and Terrace are both removed from the rotation. I I kind of agree with. Drift, Terrace, I kind of liked it, but I did have a lot of problems with the map. There was too many openings. There wasn't, there was like five lanes you could say due to like the flanking on the ground. And I guess it's just people, a lot of pros were enjoying, weren't enjoying it. A lot of pros were complaining and I personally was okay with it, but I did hate it at times too. And Drift SD, it's a no brainer. Like I didn't like that map too much. A lot of people didn't like it. Uh, I, I didn't do too well. I had my moments where I did, I had, I would go off and had my moments where I would do bad. And 
mainly bad, but you know, it's I'm, I guess I'm kind of happy with the new SD maps. And since they removed, I would say probably the two worst SDs that were in the rotation, so it should be a good time. I like that MLG is, you know, trying to fix and really coming to us as a community and other pro players coming together to try to fix this and, you know, make it make it the most competitive and the most fair, the, the most entertaining maps out there that we love playing, that, so that we actually enjoy the game. So on the good note, you know, relegation tourney that is this weekend that I will be attending and I can't wait for you guys to watch me. But the good thing is they're probably going to keep the same rotation. I'm pretty sure they're not adding the new maps. The new maps will be for season three once that starts, you know, gives time for all the players to practice and get better at it. But for the most part, you know, they are still keeping the new hardpoint meta, I'm pretty sure. CTF is out of the books, it's out of the page, it's out, it's out, you know, it's out, my, my sons, it's out. And it's going to be different now, too, it was a, a second hardpoint replacing of that, so I'm really going to enjoy playing, you know, I, I, like I've always said, I like CTF, but hardpoint, maybe it's not the best on this game compared to Black Ops 2, but it's definitely a lot more fun, and I definitely like getting in more engagements and gunfights, because CTF sometimes consists of people just camping their spawns and camping corners and stuff like that, and I really hated that. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your boy, Apathy. Much love, and I'm out.